Hey guys, my name's Dylan. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to do map markers. It's going to be a pretty quick video. So, first, of course, you're going to load your data, load your ESM, and whatever ESMs you'd like, and then your active file, which is your ESP. Set as active, make sure you're good to go. Um, you're actually going to load up wherever you want to place your map marker. Uh, map marker lets you fast travel and it's a discoverable location. So, let's jump right to it. First, you're going to go here and filter, and you're going to search up map marker. Make sure you're in all. And you're just going to click this and you're going to drag and drop. Once you drag and dropped it in to wherever you'd like, you're going to double click on it, go to marker data, and make sure this is checked. Name it whatever you'd like. And here's where you can change what it looks like on the Pip Boy in your map. I chose bunker. Once you choose bunker, that's pretty much good to go. You're going to hit OK. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go up here, go to X marker, then you're going to do X marker heading. You're going to drag and drop, and this is what it looks like, little arrow facing it. So in order to, like, this is where you spawn when you fast travel. So you're going to double click on the map marker, then you're going to go to linked reference, next to extra and linked form, right click, new. Select reference and render window. You're going to double click on the X marker heading. Make sure it says X marker heading. Press OK. You're good to go. And this is where your player will spawn. So he's going to spawn in looking directly at the mausoleum. That's exactly what I want. So then you're going to hit save. And then you test it in game. Hope that helped you out, guys. Have a great night.